Media Current Affairs Discussion. Today we will discuss questions from Economic Section. Today our question is, the recent amendments to the India-Mauritius DTA set an important benchmark in tax treaties. Discuss its significance and outline the ripple effects that it may create for other such agreements. Okay. So I guess the context of the question is in terms of uh, FTI and the foreign portfolio investments that is happening in India mm -hmm. and within that context they are trying to outline what is the specialization of the DTA per se, double mm -hmm. taxation avoidance agreements, right sir? Mm -hmm. So with respect to the specifics of this uh, tax treaty, would you like to clarify something sir? Uh, initially the FDI which was pouring in, FPI that was pouring in from Mauritius mm -hmm. uh, was uh, tax exempt mm -hmm. uh, when it came, comes to short term as well as long term. And uh, major majority of this investment was through participatory notes, okay. which kept the identity of the investor secret. Mm -hmm. Now, when government of India tried to uh, do away with participatory notes, mm -hmm. uh, there was a UN cry from the major investors, mm -hmm. and they did not want this uh, participatory note mechanism to go. Mm -hmm. okay. So, government decided to keep this participatory note mechanism, but then they decided to regulate with strictness, the capital gain mm -hmm. they would make, investors would make. Okay. So they are, in this treaty, the new uh, amendments that have been brought about uh, subject capital gains to certain amount of taxes, mm -hmm. both in uh, category of listed securities on stock market as well as unlisted securities. Mm -hmm. okay. Now this amendment says that all investments made before 1st April 2017 will be tax exempt. Okay. There's another category, second category, wherein it says that all investments made bef uh, made after 1st April 9, uh, 2017, but closed, that is sold, closed after, uh, before 2019, 1st April, will be subject to 7.5% tax mm -hmm. for listed securities mm -hmm. and 20% tax for unlisted securities. Okay. That in the third category it says that all investments made after 1st April 2017 but sold after 1st April 2019 mm -hmm. will be subjected to 15% tax for uh, listed securities and 40% tax for unlisted securities. Okay, so till then they are going to do that grandfathering thing which is coming into news. Okay, okay. So now I think we can discuss the, the significance of, uh, signif uh, first let's discuss the significance of okay. DDA. Okay. So I think first significance must be tax evasion. Okay. Because these treaties, these treaties are tax evade, which is basically which is not good for our Especially for the welfare approach. Yeah. See, uh, I have always seen that uh, in India, ever since liberalization, we have given a lot of uh, access to the market so as to be able to deliver goods and services but market has not been very responsive with respect to its share with respect to tax revenues of the government so now the government is getting into a serious mode on this so that corporate tax evasion can be controlled mm -hmm. now we uh, started on this uh, mostly in the general anti avoidance rules mm -hmm. and then the base erosion and profit system you know profit sharing system this uh, this further enhanced our vision that what should be or what can be done with respect to tax evasion treaties, you know. So world over now, I guess there is a geopolitical consensus that uh, such kind of tax evasions or tax havens, you know, they, they should be controlled a bit with respect to investment. And more so, you know, we can also see the security perspective of the money coming into India. We have heard in news many a times that terrorists, you know, even they invest our stock markets like servicing participatory notes. So that way, where the money is coming from, where is it going to, and what revenue does the government generate out of that money? Mm -hmm. These are the three concerns which are uh, being clearly seen now. Can we include round tripping? Also? Yeah, sure, round tripping. And the DTA is basically now moving towards this direction, double mm -hmm. taxation ordinance. It's that it's it should not be that you don't get taxed at your home, and neither do you get taxed at the uh, mm -hmm. place where you are operating, right? So in this sense, we have to calibrate the answer. And I think now we, we, we have to discuss the ripple effects of this treaty. Yeah. So uh, I think the ripple effects can be categorized into two portions. Okay. One is the positive and one is the negative. Okay. So in positive sense, I think I think we can conclude kar sakte hai ya link kar sakte hai Singapore. Ke yeah. Because the Mauritius and India are DDA signed, hai, hmm. it will be directly repl replicated hmm. with Mauritius uh, with Singapore Treaty. Okay. Okay. So 
पॉजिटिव में नेगेटिव में क्या इसका नेगेटिव होगा कि वंस ही सब्जेक्ट से सच फॉरेन पोर्टफोलियो इन्वेस्टमेंट्स टू हाई टैक्स रेट्स तो ये हॉट मनी जो इंडियन मार्केट में स्टॉक मार्केट में लगता है इट विल कम डाउन बट देन दिस इज अ पॉजिटिव दिस थिंग इन डिस्गाइज बिकॉज दिस विल स्टॉक दी फ्लक्चुएशन इन स्टॉक स्टॉक मार्केट बिकॉज ऑफ विच दी रिटेल इन्वेस्टर लूज इज लॉर्ड ऑफ इज कैपिटल सो वन मोर कंसर्न आई है when we say that higher taxation stops investment uh, that is always debatable you know because the investors outside india see india as a market for their products so in any company that they are investing in, into india i feel that they they invest in for the profits that they can generate or their investment can generate in the long term okay. taxation in any case is there in every country mm-hmm. it's not just that india is taxing mm-hmm. right so in any kind of developing or developed economy everywhere the taxation laws are now standardized they are becoming more and more internationally you know yes. uh, consensus oriented that uh, similar level of taxes are there for for the investment and we shouldn't become the tax haven as such you know right. <laughs> so i guess with that we should conclude the answer yes yes thank you, thank you.